Tonight is the first Friday night where you can sip and stroll right here in downtown Raleigh. The city launching the program earlier this week. The concept to take an adult beverage on the go in very defined districts in downtown. Josh Chapin has been hanging out in the neighborhood, checking on things. And Josh, does downtown look or feel any different than, say, Glenwood South tonight? Lauren, I was impressed with the number of folks who came out specifically to downtown Raleigh to check out the first real night of this sip and stroll program. You see the signs marked all around telling you where you can and you can't do this. We also went over to Glenwood South to see how the vibe compared to this. I can go to the bars that I don't like the crowd at, but I like the drinks get my drink and leave the crowd. Kaylee Hussey and Adam LaPlante wanted to see what sip and stroll looked like in person tonight. And what are you drinking? So, well, we went to Whiskey Kitchen, okay. so I'm drinking a drink from Whiskey Kitchen. And he has two. This is a this gin is drink, I think. This is hard kombucha. Yeah. Yes. How is it? Phenomenal. <laughs> So far, they're enjoying the pilot social district program where you can grab a drink and go. This is the first real weekend night of it after it took effect earlier in the week. I love that it's bringing the community into the downtown area. I think it's definitely more mellow, and I think that's good. I mean, I think it, it seems controlled. You don't need to go far for Rowdy here on Glenwood South, where the music from Tin Roof carries into the night. You think it would be too rowdy out here, though? It could be once it gets hot. Drika Mays wonders what it would look like if the program were brought over here, even with it running just until 10 o'clock. It would be a good idea to get people downtown um, and just taking in the scenery of what Raleigh has to offer. Particularly down on Fayetteville Street, right? Yeah. yeah. So let's see the cup. Yeah, so it's really nice. You know, they'll tell you where you got it from, what you're getting, what you're sipping on. James Williams got his ice cold yeah, beer from great. Woody's and got to walk down Fayetteville Street with it. His first night of sip and stroll is success so far. I feel like it's a good thing that they didn't extend it to Glenwood. So far, you know, it's a good to test it out around here where it's a lot more just sit down and hang out type of bars instead of the, you know, late night crew type bars. So the program clearly a tool to try and get more folks back into the Fayetteville Street corridor. Again, you will know for sure if you've gone too far. You see the sign here telling you if you go into Nash Square, you're certainly subject to being fined. The program runs from 11 a.m. every day, if that is your thing, until 10 o'clock. We'll see how the weekend goes as this uh, goes along. Stephen Lauren, back to you.